One of the things I was most worried about was uh, telling my family because I had heard other guys in the band tell me their story about when they left the Mormon church and they told their families what they had found in Christ. So I was really worried about my mom though, but I trusted God and I knew in the word that it said I should not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And so um, I uh, girded up my loins, so to speak, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I you know, said a little prayer in my heart and I called my mom and I just kind of laid it all out and said, Mom, I don't believe in the Mormon church anymore. You know, Joseph Smith was a false prophet, but I do believe in Jesus Christ and he's everything I live for now and he is the reason that I'm living the life that I live today. And uh, I just laid it all out and I braced myself and there was just a brief pause on the phone and I was really expecting my mom to say, I don't love you anymore, son. You know, get thee hence Satan, you know, or something like that. But uh, instead she said, ah, oh, what a relief. I didn't believe in it anymore either. I was just keeping it up because I raised you in it, you know, and uh, so I, I was just kind of like surprised, like, Mom, why didn't you tell me that you didn't believe in this? And she said, well, I raised you in it. You know, I couldn't backslide on you and change my story after I've spent, you know, 20 years, you know, indoctrinating you in this thing. I felt like I had to keep it up. And especially because I was, you know, this righteous kid in my family. I was the kid that did everything the Mormon church wanted me to do. You know, she didn't want me to judge her for coming out of the Mormon church. I, if anything, she was worried I would reject her. And, um, and so, you know, it's just not the reaction I expected at all, but, um, but really it just goes to show that, you know, if you have any doubts in the Mormon church or are struggling with, um, with believing certain things, realize that you're not alone, that there are lots of people out there who are struggling with it that are afraid to leave for various reasons. And, you know, you're not alone in that. If you hear something in Mormonism that sounds a little off, entertain it go trace it down research it find out what other people have said do not shut the door do not put up a wall um because what if you're wrong what if what you've believed all your life isn't the real christ it does have eternal consequences that truth is everything. Christ said he came to testify of truth. Truth is everything and every day I pray to discern so that I can sort truth from error because I know now how serious error can take you down the wrong path. Um, so my friends, I'm here and willing to talk. It's a public life and it's not always pleasant, but um, it is part of being a Christian, and so the glory be his. Words cannot describe the feeling of, you know, finally knowing the Lord Jesus Christ in a way that you've always wanted to. Because I you know, I had always wanted to know him and, you know, that was kind of the whole focus of my life up to my mission was, was having a per personal relationship with him but never feeling like I could really get there. But reading his word for the very first time and, and you know, being washed clean by that word and understanding what his gospel really was, that's, you know, that's what changed my life. And, and I finally, for the first time in my life, had this incredible personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, there was no barrier. There was no man between me and him. It, you know, I, 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 I felt like, you know, I was with him and he was with me and he loved me and his arms were around me and it was just, uh, you know, indescribable. And so, you know, for the church to say that, that you know, my salvation was at stake. It, it didn't mean anything because I, I, I was so secure in Jesus Christ. I had this relationship with him that I was so sure that, that he had saved me, you know, from my sin by the work that he did on the cross that, that uh, you know, I was, I was at complete and total peace. And I would want to read this scripture to you uh, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. Paul says, Whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. So uh, this is Paul 
saying that he lost everything so he could gain Christ. And he, does, and he counts all of those things that he had in his life that he used to count as gain, he counts them as rubbish, as garbage, compared to knowing Jesus Christ. And I just want to tell you that, uh, that Jesus is so much more rewarding than anything you, you think you treasure now. So um, I just encourage you to, to take that step out because there is life after the Mormon church. Um, and it's so much better because it's free in Jesus Christ and in His love. Oh yeah, it's worth it because this world means nothing. The only thing that matters is the Lord Jesus Christ and if we have Him, we have everything forever. It's worth it. <laughs> it's absolutely worth it. If you read the Bible as a child and seek for answers, I can promise you, uh, you know, without a doubt, that you will see what the true gospel of Jesus Christ really is. It just will open up your, your eyes. Nothing can contend with the Word of God. You know, God's Word in the Bible is so pure and perfect that I can't substitute it with anything. You can't um, contend with the Word of God for it is sharper than a two-edged sword. We want all people to have an opportunity to come to Christ. These are latter days. You are right about that, Mormons. And um, things are fast happening. And we're given one lifetime to make these decisions. And so we all have to make the most of it because we could be gone in an instant. Read the true gospel of Jesus Christ from the mouth of, of, of the Savior and from the mouth of his apostles. And, 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 you know, watch your life completely change and just let go of all these other things, you know, that, that, that hold you captive. And, and all these things that I believed that I had to do in order to prove myself to God, they just fell away. And I said, I can't prove myself to God, but it doesn't matter. He loves me because I've accepted, you know, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. I have faith in him. I believe in him. And, um, and I'll never be the same.